Here's a screenshot of Texas Instruments Inspire CAS. We're going to zoom in a little closer so that we can manipulate the dynamic graphics. Inspire with CAS lets us grab a point and this particular developer has allowed the 3 centimeter side and the 4 centimeter side to stay fixed. So as we move the point we'll get different values for the angle and also for the length of side C. I can get a little better resolution if I move the grabber up here. And let's see if we can return to a right triangle situation. It's close enough. 5 for the hypotenuse and 90 degrees for angle C. Now let's go to uh, make side C length 2. And again, we're going to try to resolve at 1.9. There's 2. And the value for the angle C on this screen is 28.9 degrees. But on your worksheet, record 28.96 degrees. Let's go to a familiar angle now. A nice uh, round number angle, call it 30 degrees. You can see the angle C, there's 30 degrees. And the resultant side C is 2.05. So I'll enter 2.05 in the table. A familiar angle of 45 degrees is next. Let's ease it on up. And the calculator, the graphing calculator, 45, 2, there's 45. And 2.83 is the measure of side C now. Let's get side C to become a length of 3. There it is. And the angle at vertex C is an indicated, uh, let's see, let me hold that still with the mouse, is an indicated 48.1 but you can record 48.16 48.16 another familiar angle 60 degrees let's ease it on over and see if we can get 60 degrees out of this uh, 59.9 60 degrees and record 3.61 3.61 for side C now let's make side C length of 4 oh, overshot there's 4 and indicated 68 degrees in the uh, screen, but you can record 67.98 degrees, 67.98. Now back past 90 degrees, greater than 90 degrees, let's go to a length of 6 for the long side. 581, let's see, 598, there's 6, and it indicated 117.2 degrees, you may record 17, yeah, sorry, let's make it 6 again, let's record 117.26 um, is what I got, and now to a nice round number of 120 degrees, 120 degrees gets us, uh, oh, 6.09 indicated for 120.1. Let's call that 6.08 to correspond with 120. 6.08. Familiar angle again, 135 degrees. Uh, we're going to run into uh, overlap problems here. 135 degrees, 134.9 is close enough. Record 6.48 for the length of side C. Let, let's go all the way over to a uh, trivial triangle where the long side is equal to the sum of the lengths of the other two sides and as you can see we get down here to 180 degrees which is a flat triangle or a degenerate or trivial triangle and the length of side C is 7. I think you can see the 7 on the baseline. So we've used uh, TI Inspire CAS with a dynamic graphing to get various lengths for side C for various angles, values of angle C. And the key to doing this, what the calculator does for us, is it computes values according to the cosine rule. And we'll talk more about that in a little bit.